Welcome back to episode 10 where we pack up camp at the beach and head in search for some big boars. This episode we get some of the tallest, most crankiest pigs, so make sure you stick around and have a look into our campsite as well. Just want to give a quick shout out to Wild Creek Graphics for the new logo and new sticker design. Thanks guys. Yeah, what about how yeah, that's the most effort I've ever put into cleaning the track, but if we can get the pig, I'd just drive straight through there. Hopefully it's a good camp spot. Yeah, um, just had enough of the dust, I reckon. Yeah, we're in a good spot. Good spot. We just got to a nice camp spot on the river. And just setting up now. And yeah, there's a fair bit of leafage around, so we want to get rid of all the leaves for snakes. And make sure you see what you're stepping on, especially with the young children. And yeah, Dan's got a brilliant idea. Probably should have done it when we didn't have the tent up, but... Was that the accent? <laughs> Oops. Like we were saying, we can break anything. Whoa. So I don't know what it is, but um, we just set up camp down the river and Lou is non-stop barking. And uh, the dance has gone to see the boys at the um, outstation and let them know where we are. But yeah, these dogs are let, not letting up, hey. Dan is back. Uh, hey, babe. You get a big no. We, we're pretty sure we've been hearing Lou bark at the Harry Man. Lou see. has been looking out to that river mm. and barking at something and that red dog has been barking too and he doesn't usually bark yeah. well i'm back <laughs> i reckon it's a hairy man Daddy. i reckon you're fine could be a big old boar <laughs> but that's the river just there first i thought it was a croc no, I'm reckoning it's a hairy man. So I'm pretty sure Lou was barking at dingoes, we reckon. I just couldn't hear it over the generator, but Lee reckons she could hear dingoes. But yeah, let us know if you've had any hairy man encounters. We've heard a few stories. Yeah, I'd love to hear your stories. Yeah, just got up this morning, a bit late. It was supposed to be up at sunlight. Took us a bit to get ready. We headed out checking some swamps along the way and I seen a good boar trying to make his way back to the swamp. So I ran the dogs Gruber and Carl over and Gruber hit him hard and he blew the dogs and he was off into the swamp. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, he's a bit too happy for me to drag out. Yeah, he's a good nugget. The dog's done well and he was a good fat boar. And Dan and the kids come and picked me up. Yeah, yeah he's a good boar. He's in the bushes. He's too happy to get out for me to pull out. We loaded up and kept driving. River and Carl were off, and they'll let Rocco out as well. Yeah, the boys, Gruber and Rocco grabbed them two balls out of it. Oh, they got the balls, did they? Yep. Good little boys. Yeah, right. Naughty Carl got the bloody sucker. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, they're right. They got they good balls. How big? Yeah. Oh, about 40 kilo. Oh, really yeah. Big Just those big ones that we've seen. They look bigger in the bloody driver. I know, especially when they have their razors back up. They look huge and think, oh, yeah, there's a massive boar. I think it's huge and it's just all little pigs mobbed up together. But yeah, I, we definitely got the better ones, which is a bonus. We got them pigs and headed back to camp for brekkie and we decided to jump in the ute and check out the area in the heat of the day. We crossed through a creek and a boar ran across the track in front of us, so I decided to get out and walk down the creek to see if he was still there. And there he was, down in the water. You're a good pig. Good spot too. Yeah, so what we've been doing is we're just driving around checking out the area before we start hunting with the dogs. Yeah, we found some interesting country. Seen some good pigs. Pretty excited to bring the dogs back and hit them. But we've seen this big fella and I thought, oh, we better bust him. Oh yeah, here's that ball we just shot while we were just driving around. Um, second shot was very unnecessary. I seen him kicking a bit and I thought, oh, and Lee was here, so I just pumped another one into him, but hit him behind the head. That's where I like to shoot him. Yeah, good nugget. It's a, bit, it's a daddy about 200 metres back, so yeah, we'll definitely come back here and check this area out. We went back to camp in the Arvo and had some dinner and decided to try our luck going for a quick night run around the paddocks near camp. Yeah. Right, yeah, guys, how's it going? Hey, we're just um, yeah, heading out for a little night mission, just going to check some swamp and creek country. They've been uh, hard to find the swamp, so I reckon they're coming out late at night because we're only just out and, uh, just missing the big boars at five o'clock, eh? So yeah. we Try something different. First time we're actually going out after dinner to have a quick look. Yeah, now the kids all ready to go. They're all strapped in, locked down. 
Car seat. Bloody, yeah, all oh. tired too. They've had a pretty big day. And yeah, I'll just yeah. be standing on the, the back with the dogs. Yeah, so just remember, I like me, women like me dogs, Harry. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, we've got a four dog crew. And, um, Three dog. Oh, yeah. Young bloody. Doctor's still not. Young good. docs. What, what I like to call a bit of a fixer upper. He's, yeah, same as Lou. They're both fixer uppers. They're going to take time, but yeah, they're not scared. And that's all that matters. Also, it's full moon tonight, so yeah, my favourite time to hunt. We're sneaking around with no light. I reckon we're going to have a good night. What do you reckon? Yeah, hopefully get a quick, few quick boards and off to bed early. That's what she thinks. <laughs> so we headed out and before we could even get to the first gate, the kids were already out. It totally amazes me what the kids sleep through, eh? Catching big balls. <laughs> Rocco jumped off and headed out into the paddock. We heard a bark from Rocco and headed out and then there were pigs running everywhere. Luckily he still had Groover on the clip and let him off and got this black and white ball running beside us. Right, you got this one? No, I'll get him. Jesus! Holy! We were shocked at the size of the pigs up here. As you can see, he was really tall. Dan took care of that boar and I went to Rocco's pig that he had out of the mob. Rightio, so we just had a crack to start, Rocco floated off. It happened to be a mob of pigs in the edge of a pretty swampy area. Yeah. Gruber nailed the big fella, I just seen him out of the corner of my eye, he's massive. We've put Hulk on and Gruber. And yeah, with that oh. last one, we just kept Gruber on the clip. Oh. Just have one nose Gruber. dog going. And keep uh, oh, the others on yeah. clips, yeah. just in case, because it always happens. We always oh. see other pigs. Oh. It's, there's Gruber. never just one. With the amount of pigs that were there and that we seen run off, we decided to head around to where we thought the pigs might have ran to. And it wasn't long till we caught up with them again. Hulk and Gruber headed off for the same boar and there was another boar heading to the right on his own. So I opened the back cage up and let Rocco out after him. I got there and the ball was just running around with Rocco, making it dangerous for me to race in and grab him. As you know, they can turn around in a split second. I put the camera down to help Rocco out and then that's when things got hairy. He turned around and had a go at me and he slipped Rocco's hold and Rocco was off after him again, pulling him up a few hundred metres away. By the time I ran to where Rocco was, he already was tied and pulled off to bail. So there I was with Rocco having a standoff with his ball. Dan was off with Hulk and Gruber with another boar that got it. Dan took care of that boar and come to find where Rocco and I were having a standoff with this big boar. Holy shit! Get him, dog! 
Rocco. Wow, he's a beauty. Good boy, Good boy Rocco. I'll get him some water. Oh. So we're just going to go cool the dogs down. Air's the best way after water. The best way to cool the dogs off after they're hot is to drive them around the buggy. After giving them a drink, we usually just drive around for 10 minutes or to whenever they cool off. And this is the fastest way to get them back to normal. Alright guys, so basically we just had the most hectic 15 minutes. Some of the most enjoyable pigging we've done for a while. Uh, we just come out in the swamp, Rocco floated off. And there was a mob on an old dead cow. And Rocco got a little ball, and this fella here nailed this big black and white ball. It was, um, yeah, proper good. And then, um, yeah, we quickly um, floated around uh, the other side of the swamp where we thought the pigs were heading to, and, and Rocco this time grabbed this bigger fella. After the videos and some photos, the dogs were all rested and ready to go again. We put Rocco away to give him a rest and let Hulk have a chance on the back. I could see the pigs on the edge of the grass, but unfortunately the dogs Gruber and Hulk couldn't. It wasn't until we were a couple Gruber. metres away before the dog seen him. Gruber grabbed a ball and there was pigs blowing out next to me everywhere. Even Hulk's pig decided to come back around and seen my light and went back in. Dan seen one of the boars heading across the paddock down further and decided to take a shot with his 44 mag. Good shot. Um, Nat seen a mob of pigs out off a trough, run the dogs out to them and the wind was wrong. And yeah, they're pretty embarrassing, eh? it's like they've never been pigging before. But you get that, and anyway, when the dogs finally worked out there was pigs there, I seen this fella sneaking out the back. So I quickly run after him and pump a few into him. But yeah, the old warrior's pretty bright, so yeah, I didn't realise how far away. Now if I was aiming a foot above him, that'd be no, they have to be getting out to close to 120 metres of a night or something. It's a long shot for a 44 mag. Yeah, very enjoyable. Sure. What do you reckon, Natty? Well done. Definitely, yeah, it's been good. We could smell a carcass but couldn't find out where it was, so we decided to let Rocco out to help find it for us and followed him with the spotlight. He started barking and it was a mob that he'd found in the tree line. Lucky Rocco listened to us and stopped chasing that smaller pig and come back as I let Hulk off. And we could smell um, Daddy in the air and yeah, Rocco let us right to him. We heard him barking, he was just chasing the mob. He chased the little fella out of it and ran past his big boar and that big boar looked like he was going to have a go at Rocco and ran, stayed, stood there to fight. And yeah, lucky um, I let Hulk off and yeah, Rocco and Hulk smash him. He's a good, another good boar. Jeez, he's, been a Three. Night. he's not quite as big Crackers. as the other fellas. And um, what in the what did Gruber get? You went after the mob. Yeah, and... um, Gruber got like a sow, I think, like 30 kilo rubbish. Hey. But yeah, he's not quite as big as the other fellas, but he's up there, eh? Yeah, definitely. He's a cracker. What a run. Yeah, right oh, on the daddy. Now we're done, we locked the dogs up and headed back to camp for a much needed rest. Yeah, right now, so we're back at camp now. Yeah, gonna give the dogs a much earned rest. Done really well, ended up six boars and two sows. The dust. There'll be no hunting tomorrow with the dogs, that's for sure. We'll just still be shooting tomorrow, I think. But yeah, what a run. Some proper cracker pigs. 
Yeah, really good boars. Mm. Yeah, that's one of my favourite hunts for a fair while. Eh? A really, really Probably good day. the best hunt, best hunt for the trip so far. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Quality wise. Yeah. 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 In one go. Yeah. Plenty of action. In such a short area, like a mm. short time, it's good. Poor old Carl, he's, he missed out, he was at home. What do you reckon, boys? Maybe tomorrow. But yeah, the, the other boys done really well, so yeah, really happy with them. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys, and here's a look into our campsite and the things we found handy when camping with kids. So we're just having a rest day today. Yeah, after that good night that we had last night getting them good boars. And yeah, as you can see, the dogs are tired too. So yeah, it's time to do the house chores and back to basics and washing up. Yeah, Wash yeah. Washing clothes by hand. We've got a bit going on. Got the fire detergent. Got a rinse and final rinse zone and clothesline. Yeah, just basically had a good tidy up this morning. Have a good campfire yep. tonight, I think. We're going to do camp, camp oven. oven. Yeah. yeah, I'd say we'll do some lamb and veggies. Yep. And then, um, I think we might even go for a shot today. Yeah. we give the dogs all the day off, I think. Yeah, yeah definitely. And probably have a day nap. Definitely a midday nap with the aircon. <laughs> yep. Everything is back to basics with us, except for the midday naps. Yeah. We don't use the aircon at night time, it's only for midday naps because it's too hot for kids. Indeed. Yeah. Radio. So Diamond Creek's getting pretty dry this time of year. Still beautiful water though. Out on Clyde Point. <laughs> Should point out I've got a sore knee, that's why I'm not doing much. <laughs> Takes forever. No. It's flat back for us. I wanna have to um, use them lips. <laughs> you know how to do it better than me. Nah, not at all. Then take a photo with these. And yeah, what are we gonna put in there, Leah? Um, water. Yep, and what do they do? Um, grow in, in a bit to turn them for flowers. Yeah. Yeah, they're the balls that we've been using down the beach and for the pool for them to keep them entertained. Especially in the heat. Okay, so today we were supposed to go shooting, but we ended up, uh, by the time we'd done all the washing and folded it up and had a midday nap, we were, were a bit behind in time. So we thought we'd just stay here and have a camp oven and a rest tonight. And yeah, I thought I'd just take the opportunity to show you our camp and what works and what doesn't work. Uh, doesn't work. As you've seen, Dan had a little camp shower that's $30 from most camping stores. Perfect for filling up your waters and shower. And we have a keg on the fire that Dan always brings up and heats of warm water and warm water for washing. And for the last couple of trips I haven't had a table and especially when you have kids they just tend to drop food everywhere so one of the best investments has been this I think it was like 100 bucks from Big W but I reckon probably needs to be full aluminium on the top because I've wet it and you can see the um, boards starting to lift up
And then another good investment is the blower because at least you can have your shade cloth on your ground for floor and blow it all off. And a pop-up bath for the kids' bath with that camp chair. And this is a Coleman Cabin Gold, eight person tent. And yeah, it's been great. You can fit two double beds in there. And then it's got this mesh compartment at the front so you can store all your gear. And we have our boxes for all our charging gear, camera equipment, collars, all our electrical gear basically. And another little handy thing I've had for a while now is a pop-up laundry basket. Very handy. Here's all our charging gear, clothes bags, dirty laundry, our sleeping, and yeah, we give up on bringing kids' beds up because, yeah, they tend to end up in our bed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> So it's just easier to just have a little foam mattress that friends give us. Then everything, everything in boxes is handy. And yeah, just a normal camp kitchen stuff really. You know, what, what else has been real handy um, thing for while we've been camping? We usually have an LED light strip, but we just haven't set that up yet. Our bugs have been a bit bad here. But yeah, once you get a fire going, it's not too bad. Um, I was just thinking it's pretty ambitious to think that a married couple could put that tent up in three minutes. Yeah, <laughs> it's supposed to be three minutes. Yeah, not a chance. Yeah. It's good, but yeah, three minutes is very ambitious. Yeah, but it is handy. Maybe an Olympic tent putting up team might be able to do it. But... Yeah, we are getting a lot better. Some days it doesn't get in its bag, but yeah, how many times do they get back in their original bag? Oh, they should just make them a little bit bigger. But yeah, it's um, been a good little setup, this one. Really good. And yeah, we've just got dinner on. Chill out tonight. And then in the morning, we might wake up early and just before sun up and go for a look for a boar. Hey, babe. Yeah, mate. Yeah. That'd yeah, yeah, be well, good. We should be going tonight, but yeah. We'll yeah. Have a early night. The kids are buggered and the dogs are rooted. So. Yeah, we had a big day cleaning up, so we thought we'd just relax. And yeah, it's a holiday too. Thanks very much for watching, guys. 